Hello, everyone. My name is Hong Yang Li. I'm a research investigator from the University of Michigan. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to present our deep learning based method for radiographic joint damage prediction in rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, patients with, with rheumatoid arthritis usually have joint space narrowing and erosion in their hands and feet. A standard way to identify this damage is through looking at the radiographic image and the score the damage for each joint manually. However, this is labor intensive and time consuming, uh, even for experienced radiologists. So the aim of this project is to, to build a model to do this automatically. Uh, in recent years, deep learning proved to be very powerful to, uh, in computer vision related tasks. But for this product, it's slightly different. There's three unique features. First, there are multiple joints within each image. So the model needs to not only identify all of these joints, but also need to distinguish the damaged joints from the healthy ones. Second, there are different types of joints, usually in different orientations. So the model needs to be robust to uh, accept all different conditions and make the correct predictions. Third, um, patients with rheumatoid arthritis usually have symmetric damage in their both left hand and right hand. So this type of information need to be considered to achieve better performance. So considering these three unique features, we build a three-step pipeline to address this problem. First, we detect the location of multiple joints. Then we, based on this location, we predict the joint damage. And then we integrate prediction from all joints and make the final prediction. I will go through this three step one by one. At the first step, we need to detect the location of a joint. We first label the location by a square mask. And then for each joint, we build a specific deep learning model to predict the location. Uh, we adapted a classic convolutional neural network model, UNIT, which has an encoder and a decoder and, and multiple operations used to extract feature from the original image. And then we build a model for each joint. Once we got the location of all these joints, in the second step, we'll cut the original image into small image patches and use these patches as input to predict the damage score. We design a special network architecture, which has two parts. First part is similar to a unit that has an encoder and decoder. And this part will generate the first output, which is the mask of the drawing space. And in the second part, we add another encoder, which will generate the second output. Um, that is the drawing damage score. I need to emphasize that this special design not only can improve the um, prediction performance for joint damage score, but also it will highlight the regions of interest. This will be potentially helpful for radiologists to further examine the original image and to make decision in clinical settings. Um, at third step, we'll collect the predicted score for all joints and use them as the input feature for actual tree regression model to make the final prediction for each joint. And then in this step, the symmetric information will be learned automatically by this model. Finally, on the holdout test set, our method run top in three sub-challenge of predicting both strong space narrowing and the erosion. Thank you for your attention, and I would like to take any question at the poster session.